Hey everyone, Shin here. So, I've got a new build for you all. This one uses the new Sinister stat set that came with the Silver Waste content patch, and I've been having a lot of fun playing it, a lot of fun testing it, and I finally got a version of it that I think works well, works the best for what I tested, and it's just a ton of fun to play. It's effective in roaming, it's actually fairly effective in the Silver Wastes as well. At any rate, I wanted to give you guys a video on it because there have been a lot of people asking about it and I think it's worth sharing. It is a lot of fun. Now before I go over the build itself, I'll tell you how to actually get this stat combination for your armor and weapons. In order to get the recipes for the weapons and armor themselves, you can just buy them off the trading post. You can just look up Sinister on the trading post and you'll be able to find them. Otherwise, you can do various things in the Silver Waste. You can do achievements tied to the living story and that will get you recipes for that stuff. However, the inscription, insignia, and I believe it's the jewel, those you need to buy with the currency that comes out of the events in the Silver Waste called Bandit Crests. Each one of those recipes costs 400 crests. It's not too hard to get that many. You just need to spend a little time in the zone or do various achievements or do the living story. Any number of things can get you those crests. But my point is you can only get those recipes through crests. You cannot buy the insignia, inscription, or jewel recipes without those crests, without visiting those vendors. So it only costs you a little bit of time if you're worried about spending too much or, or farming or anything. So... Alright, jumping into the build itself. For weapons and utilities, this build uses sword, shield, and hammer, with the utilities being heal signet, balance stance, endure pain, bull's charge, and signet of rage. If you need to, you can swap out endure pain for berserker stance, whichever one you want. For the stats the build uses, it's evenly split between sinister and berserker. Your sword and shield need to be sinister stats, while your hammer needs to be berserker. Your armor needs to be sinister stats, while your trinkets need to be berserker. For sigils and runes, the sigils in the weapons, you're going to want to use a sigil of tormenting in the sword, and a sigil of hydromancy in the shield. The hammer, you're going to want to use a sigil of impact and a sigil of doom. For the runes, you're going to want to use Melandru optimally. If it's cheaper, you can go with Holbrack, but I wouldn't advise it because this build does not interact with might a lot, so I would highly advise Melandru over anything else. And for the traits, this build has a 40604 spread. The strength traits are Great Fortitude and Distracting Strikes. The defense traits are Dog March, Cleansing Ire, and Shield Master. And the discipline traits are Vigorous Focus and Warrior Sprint. Finally, the consumables this build uses are Superior Sharpening Stones, and lemongrass poultry soup. Just like with my Hamtastic build, snare immunity is very important for this build because it is a full melee build. You need to be on your targets all the time, and if you are getting snared and immobilized all over the place, you're not going to be able to reach them. Alright, now I'm actually going to jump into some gameplay for you guys and kind of go over what the build is centered around, what types of things to look out for, and where the traits kind of come into play. Now, as far as the type of gameplay you're going to want to aim for with this build and what some of the traits afford you, this build is a very aggressive skirmishing build. This is a build you want to be constantly in your opponent's face with, applying conditions, applying CC, applying interrupts, burst damage, anything you can to basically overload your opponent and force them on the defensive or force them into panic mode. Things like Distracting Strikes allows you to put on a lot of confusion with interrupts from the hammer and the shield, which means your opponent has to immediately use a condition cleanse or think about what they're going to do next, because because of the sinister stats, the condition damage you're getting from the sinister stats, that confusion is actually going to hurt them a fair amount if they do anything too recklessly, especially when you have 8 and 12 stacks of confusion on them at one time. You also have Poison from the Hammer Sigil for reduced healing, you have torment in an AoE from the sigil and the sword, you do have a lot of bleeding with the sword auto attack, you have cripples, you have an immobilize with the burst on the sword, you have all of the stuns from the hammer, shield master in the defense line allows you to interrupt more often and get more confusion or use shield stance more often for that defensive aspect, you have warrior sprint so you can stay in their face or you can also get away if necessary bulls charge savage leap earth shaker they're all good for dodging around away or towards opponents you just have a lot of tools at your disposal 
to overload and put your opponent on the defensive and yet at the same time get away from them or get out of bad situations. This build is designed to be played very aggressively and very actively and that's part of why I really enjoyed making it and really enjoyed testing it because you are doing a lot of things at every moment, at any moment. Alright, and that is the new Sinister Warrior build for you guys. I had a lot of fun testing it, a lot of fun coming up with it. I hope you have a lot of fun playing it. Feel free, if you enjoyed the video, to toss it a like, throw a comment below. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want. I have some other projects that I'm going to be working on. Hopefully you'll see some of the, the bigger videos come up soon. I wanted to give you guys this video, though, because I know a lot of people have been curious about this build that I've been working on for a little while. So there you go, guys. I will see you in the next video, or I'll see you around the stream. Take care, everyone.